This is a video on how to make the Cobra bracelet. The Cobra bracelet uses a basic Cobra stitch, but there are several steps we take to make it so we can turn this lanyard into a bracelet, and I'll be showing you those in the video. Let's get started. You will need two pieces of gimp. A shorter piece that is long enough to wrap around your wrist three times, and a longer piece that is four times the length of the shorter piece. Take your shorter piece of gimp, go down about two inches, and bend it. Take your long piece of gimp, bend it at its center, place it over the short piece of gimp, near the top of the loop. This divides the long piece of gimp into a left strand and a right strand. Take the strand on the left, bring it over to the right. Take the strand on the right, bring it in front of the left strand. Then behind the short piece of gimp. And finally, up through the loop. And tighten the strands. We started the first stitch by bringing the strand on the left over to the right. To prevent the cobra from twisting, we need to alternate every stitch between starting on the left and starting on the right. So we'll start our second stitch with the strand on the right and bring it over to the left. Next, we'll take the strand on the left and place it in front of the right strand. Then behind the short piece of gimp and up through the loop. For our third stitch, we again will start on the left. fourth stitch, starting back on the right. So keep 
making stitches, alternating between left and right. In one more stitch, I will have completely covered up the shorter strand from the short piece of gimp. You can see that small yellow amount sticking out at the bottom. Unfortunately, I don't remember if my last stitch started on the left or the right. That's not a problem. You can tell by looking at the loops on the sides. The loop that I have at the bottom is on the left. The next loop up is on the right. Since my last loop was on the left, that means my last stitch started on the right. So I'm going to start my next stitch on the left. You can see now my lowest loop is now on the right. That is from the stitch I just made starting on the left. Once you have enough stitches so that when you wrap the lanyard around your wrist, the loop is about an inch away from your last stitch, you are ready for the next step. You can see here that my last stitch is about an inch away from the loop at the top of the lanyard, so I am ready for the next step. Take the strand at the bottom of your lanyard from the short piece of gimp. Bring it through the loop at the beginning of the lanyard. Pull it through, but keep it loose enough that you can still fit your hand through that loop. Bring this strand back towards the bottom of the lanyard. Keep making cobra stitches like you were before, but now make them over both of these strands. Keep going until you've done 10 stitches after the place where this strand pops out. I've done two, eight more to go. I've done 10 stitches. I can tell that by counting the loops on the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten stitches below where this piece of gimp pops out. And now I'm ready to super glue these two strands so that I can cut them off. Super glue is dangerous if you use it incorrectly. So if you are under 18, you need to have an adult with you to do this part.
and let that dry for at least 30 minutes. My glue has dried and I've cut off the long strands. Now I'm ready for the next step. Take the lanyard, place it over your wrist, and pull on the short strand. This will tighten the lanyard to fit tightly around your wrist. When I pull this strand, it brings the two ends of the lanyard close together. And finally, cut off the strand poking out of the lanyard. And that is it for the Cobra bracelet. If you'd like to see my supply list, you can go to www.wheretogetgimp.com and definitely come say hello on my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash lanyards.